This, oh god. This is a mess. This is this is a mess. Okay guys, so for today's video we're going to show you guys how to replace the rear brake pads and rotors for a 2003 Dodge Durango. This should be the same process for 99 to 2003. Alright, so you guys are going to need your brake pads and your rotors for the back. Now, you can get whatever brake pads you like. These are the mid-grade ones. I think they're like the silvers or something instead of the golds. Here's the part number in case you want to. Go and get those. And the rotors here, hang on. There is the rotor part number for you guys. Also, this is the car quest. All right. Okay, so back here on your caliper, right here and right here. They're both 10 millimeters. They should come off fairly easily once you loosen them up. And boom, big ass caliper bolt. Where'd the other one go? There it is. Boom, boom. There isn't a whole lot of space here, if you can see that when you take this bolt out. So, so once you loosen your caliper bolts, just set it back here like so. Um, yeah, there's no brake pad on, like it's just flat. I took this brake pad off over here. Um, where did I set it? Okay, well I took this brake pad off already. So, you're gonna have to pry this back one off, maybe, if it just comes off. And then there's two bolts, one here and one here for the bracket here, so you can get your rotor off. Okay, so your caliper bracket bolt is a 21 millimeter. So you're gonna loosen the top one here and the bottom one here. And then once you get those out, your bracket should pull away from your rotor. So once you take the bracket off, it'll look like this. Okay, um, and then your rotor should come off. You should be able to just wiggle it off like so. See, it's coming slowly here. So I'm just gonna take this off. I'll get the new rotor. We'll stick it on, and I'll show you guys how to put this back together. It's really, really easy. Okay, so on the brake caliper bracket, you have to slide the back brake pad on before you put the bracket back on because it has the two caliper bolts coming up right here. So you can't slide it on from the back side. You have to put that one on from this side before putting this back on to your vehicle. Um, you can put the one on the other side here as well if you want. I'm probably gonna do that just before I put it back on. And then the new rotor back on the truck just like that. The other brake pad right here. And then you gotta take, you gotta compress your piston here I'm just using the old uh, brake pad, well, almost non the non-existent brake pad to recompress the piston with a simple C-clamp, real easy like that. You just twist the C-clamp down and it'll compress the piston down and then you can use that to put it back over. I'll show you guys all that when we get to that step though. Okay, so after you get your brake pads into your caliper bracket, you put your caliper bracket back on, top bolt, bottom bolt, tighten them down and then before you put your caliper back on, make sure you tighten your caliper bracket bolts um, down because your caliper is going to screw to your caliper bracket. So if your caliper bracket is not set in place, your caliper might not line up and everything's going to shift when you try to tighten it down. So you definitely want to tighten your caliper bracket first. And I okay. So once you get to the point where your bracket is tightened down, if you're having trouble lining your caliper up and getting over here, um, take either a wrench, um, not a wrench, a uh, like a vice grips or your C-clamp and very carefully compress this here and this here because I had a little bit of trouble getting it over. Um, I compressed them a little bit and now they slide over fairly easy. Now, this is just the easiest way to show you guys what I was talking about. So. If you compress those down really easy, not too much, just enough to get it over the, over right here, so you can line up the hole. Uh, just do it very, very gently. Okay guys, so that's how easy it is to change your brake pads and rotors on an 03 Dodge Durango 
Now keep in mind when you do do your brakes and rotors, you want to do both sides. So if you do the backs, you want to do the backs on both sides. If you do the front, you want to do the front on both sides. Um, both rotors, both pads. If you're just doing pads, and just do pads on both sides. And they sell them in sets of four, the brake pads, so you have enough to do both sides. On um, the rotors, obviously, you have to buy them separately. But that is it, guys. All my social medias are down in the description box for you guys to go check out. Also, link to the last video, the review of the Dodge Durango. Go check that video out. Really good video, uh, if I do say so myself. And I will check you guys in the next one. Good vibes, good cruising. Oh,